I'm Lauren Victory outside Chicago Public School headquarters where leaders have been trying to manage a CPS sex abuse scandal since last summer. It uncovered years of underreporting and or limited action by the district in cases of rape and sexual misconduct against students. A few months later, this scathing report by outside investigator Maggie Hickey. She and her team sifted through thousands of documents, interviewing more than 80 CPS employees. The conclusion? Tracking of incidents had been deeply flawed. Victims were sometimes asked the wrong questions by untrained employees, and the district struggled with background check inconsistencies. There was a lot there to unpack, but what uh, I'm doing is looking at it as a roadmap so that we can do more. That's what the head of CPS, Janice Jackson, told me almost a year ago to the day. Now, Dr. Jackson, we're talking to another family today of a victim of yet another case of alleged CPS sex abuse. Can you talk about what the district has been doing? Yeah, um, as I stated earlier, we've made a lot of efforts, um, including the establishment of the Office of Student Protections. CPS also implemented screenings for all employees and is apparently ready for what Jackson calls phase two. We learned this at a city club luncheon where she told the crowd the 2019-2020 school year will focus on awareness. Doing plays and other things to help make students aware of consent and boundaries, but more importantly, how to, uh, how to report that. And as I've said over and over again, I won't be satisfied until we are district free of sexual abuse. We have work to do there. How much work? Jackson promised a progress report on CPS's handling of sexual allegations soon. I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News.